Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Awesome. Look at this. First try. Bam, baby. Wow, eh? Bam, baby. Wow. I love it. I love it. So... So What's going on in the hood? Jeez, man. See, the um, kids are at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the kids are at it. Um, what's going on? You know what? It's it's a little bit, I, it's supposed to be more level-headed, but I don't know if it is. I uh, I got back from, from <clears throat> uh, PetCon Expo. Um, I did my style, right? So I, uh, so I drove down. It's in Philly, right? So it's seven hours. It's not a, uh, next door. No, yeah, yeah. So I, I drove down, uh, drove back seven hours, right? So scheduled phone calls for, you know, my driving time, all that kind of stuff. But it was seven hours down on Monday, set out seven hours up on Wednesday, like last night. So I got home at like 10. I put in like, I think I got two campfire sessions in. Campfire are like little, um, kind of little sessions that you do. Yeah, and uh, did a couple of panels and and went to a couple of networking dinners. So like, worked it the whole time I was there, and then uh, came home, you know, and then uh, went to class today to teach the kids. <laughs> what the kids teach you? I think kids were waking me up all night, but <laughs> <laughs> all class. But you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good though. So I think that was a show. It was good, man. You know what? So I. Um, I really like this show. Like the it's uh, I so for listeners, I went to Pet Connection Expo, um, and it it's a little show. Like, um, I'm not sure how many booths there were. There were probably like less than a hundred, maybe 150 booths. That's still you a know? nice little size. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was really cool was this was super old school because people got stuff done. You know, like I could hear people walking down aisles and uh, there were times when I just didn't want to bother anyone because they were getting deals done. Like there were deal sheets out. There was, uh, there was, um, you know, orders being made. PLC, so this is an, an, uh, independent, you know? um, mm-hmm. an independent pet show show. Yeah. Not yeah, open yeah. to consumers. Like not one of those shows. No. Yeah. Trade no. Show. no, just trade show. Really? Old school, you know, like in a, wow. uh, you know, and like, and so, so a bit of, um, I guess I'm going to show my age, but a bit of a throwback, like the convention center we were in was a little older, you know, so, so kind of like high ceiling, but um, like all the curtains and everything. And so they kind of cordoned off half for us. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I totally um, know what you mean. it's almost yeah. like going into the old gyms almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly that. Right. Like just, uh, but it was, it was super cool. Like it's just, you know, cause people are getting stuff done and there were a lot of, little retailers like guys that really? were you know seven eight chain stores you know um and they were you know and uh these guys they get it because the retailers were telling other retailers about what was happening at the show do you know so like it's like one of my friends there um and greenberg um so i guess i'm giving the first plug of the night um and greenberg runs a, a pet brand called a pet with paws and, um, and it is the cutest, like it's this bag brand. Um, and she just makes the cutest fashion bags, um, awesome. or like dog carrier fashion bags. Right. Um, it's called a pet with paws and she, you know, and she's been working at it. She's been at this for two, two and a half years trying to like just grind away through this. And, um, you know, at this show, she, uh, she met up with one, uh, five chain, you know, store out of the Carolinas who uh, just loved her stuff, right? And then um, that person went and told another retailer who had like five stores. And then that person told um, this lady that I know who runs a like this high-end pet boutique in New York City who was like, what the F? How come I've never seen these bags? These are amazing bags. They're going to sell in New York City. And I was like, oh, how 
how can I know you and know her and that you guys don't know each other? Do you know what I mean? But, but, but it's funny how retail works, right? And so, well, like, maybe it's just getting back to that old school a little bit yeah. of networking at the show, right? Because yeah. I guess if you're an independent, you got to start leveraging this, these shows a yeah. lot better, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, just really old school, you know, and like, so it was weird to hear two retailers in completely different geographic regions, but they were like, these are the cutest bags, right? Like two That's women awesome. buyers. And they're just like, you got to go over and see these. I'm getting one and I'm getting one and I'm getting one. And then, you know, like me being the troublemaker, right? I wandered in and said, I bought one of those for my friend and she's got this little chihuahua and he loves this bag. And I was showing her pictures, right? And they're like, oh my God. <laughs> You're a beauty. You're a beauty. That's awesome. But that's was, awesome. It was uh, like, you know, if you ever go to that's show, a fun this, show, this is why you go, right? Like, that's like, like doing old hockey you know, card shows yeah. or comic book shows, coin yeah. shows, where when they're so small like that, they're just they're just awesome, right? Especially if you got good stuff, and it sounds like there was good stuff there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So, so, so a lot yeah. of independent, crafty type people. Yeah, lots of independence, lots of up and coming. We saw. Uh, you know what I saw that I thought was super cool? There was a brand there called Jiminy's and they do cricket powder, um, cricket powder protein for dogs. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I've never learned so much about cricket powder. Like she, I, I, one of the panels I did was a, um, like a, a dragon's den style and she presented and uh, I just had a million questions. But like the other two that I was sitting with, uh, I was sitting with, um, uh, Taz Khalifa, who's uh, who's a who's the owner of Petropolis in uh, in New York City, um, and uh, I was sitting with another guy there. You know, both retailers, and they were just like had all these questions about crickets, and I was like, I don't understand. Like, I understand drugs. I understand like how to source all sorts of things. Oh, I should say that I understand pharmaceutical OTC. drugs. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. I mean, everybody else might think of both, but that's fine. Well, everybody understood me too, but <laughs> over the counter drug, legal so, over the counter so, drug. So I understand sourcing. I understand ingredients. Yeah. But these guys were like, "Where are the crickets fun? What do you feed the crickets? How like? Oh shit, how, that hardcore. You know, like, how do you process the crickets? And I was like, "Whoa." Wait, what? Like, <laughs> how does it matter? Like, shit, really? I, I, am I guess not it like, sort of yeah. does. It does. It does. Yeah, and they were, that. yeah, and they were all like, "No." Nope. You know, so so she was saying like the the um, the cricket lives eighty percent of its life before they harvest it. Um, you know, they feed it. I can't remember what they feed it. They feed it um, totally natural stuff, whatever crickets eat. Um, but they feed them totally natural stuff. They know where the the stuff comes from. Even the I think there's some grains in it or or something like that. Or it's a pretty tight supply chain. Yeah, it's a really tight supply chain. And then they um, what they do is they lower the temperature. It puts all the crickets to sleep, right? It's all like um, they all go into hibernation and that's when they harvest them. So that's when they roast them really? and all this stuff. So I was like, this is amazing. Like, who knew all this stuff about crickets, right? Like, what the hell? You know what that's I mean? That's pretty impressive. I, I, I didn't know yeah. any of this I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't know any of this either. It's funny because I'm supposed. Oh, now I'm going to meet up with Coast Protein. Hopefully, in the yeah. next couple of weeks. Same thing. Like that's what they do. They're, it's all about cricket-based um, food. Okay, I, I'm right? a big it's fan. It's so, I know. Yeah. I knew it was big anyway, but I just yeah. didn't realize it was in fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's awesome. It's crazy, right? I, I was just like, what? Like so, somebody educate me. This is amazing, right? So I was like going through this stuff like crazy it that's was, awesome was amazing yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that might be something cool to take a look at uh importing it yeah. i don't know what the rules around cricket import or powder is i mean I, i'm sure it's yeah. uh, in theory i mean if it's processed it's processed yeah yeah Unless it has to go through like meat or something stupid or i don't think so not dairy so. but but i actually think i think I don't know for sure because literally I had the 15 minutes with this Jiminy lady, right. but, but I, I think local crickets might actually be cheaper than even importing it. Well, I guess mm-hmm. not instead of doing it, they're just yeah. importing the actual the end, yeah, end yeah. product. Yeah. yeah. Right? That way you don't yeah. have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. 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 Right. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's, if it's already there, it's already there. I just find it pretty cool that, um, I, I never heard of it for pet. I guess at the end of the day, a protein's a protein yeah. and you'd rather give your pet Obviously, I'm assuming, um, what do you call it? Um, an animal-based protein? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then, right. and then the environmental play is, 
enormous, right? Like Lots the better whole, than freaking cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That um, is pretty cool. It is really cool. I, I, I do cool. want to say this. So, so to the fans who listen to us, um, we are, we kind of broke the seal on this. So I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm recording Kenny's face, but, um, we, we've broken the now? seal. So, so we're on YouTube. We're on YouTube, right? Cause we like last time we filmed that thing on YouTube. So that means yeah. that the last episode I did that we did is also on YouTube. So we have two YouTube episodes up on, on YouTube. Right, like the, the last. Sure I look okay. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this just in my underwear. No, but 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 I think I think the thing is is if you want to see how excited we got, you got to go check out the YouTube channel because when we were talking when I was talking about this show, you should have seen the two of us smiling ear to ear, right? Because thinking about the old days of, of how you kind of like you know moving and shaking and and like you know making deals and you know making sales and all that kind of stuff, so it was pretty cool, like. Um, now you can actually see how excited we get, um, not just hear us. Right. So Kenny's feeling very, uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel really, <clears throat> I really don't like being filmed. Uh, I, I was, really I was trying like, not okay, to, we're going to let you, let you have your little fun and do your, <laughs> your little thing, but, no, but, but uh, that's but all good in the hood. But I can't leave just one video up. Right. So I had to do last week's episode and you were in China. So I didn't want to, I don't want to hassle you while you're out there, but, um, but I guess we're on YouTube now. So we're stars, man. Yeah, we are. We We're are, just man. rock stars. Are. Our, even if it's in our own mind, yeah, it really doesn't yeah, matter. It is in our own mind and our own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and our own podcast. <laughs> Again, where we figure we might have 10 people listening to us these yeah, days. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, buddy. Man. That's good. That's a cool, that sounds like a cool little show. I love doing little, I love those. Yeah. Um, I do. I, I like those. Um, I like those small type of shows. Yeah, this one you know was, where you walk around. Yeah. It just I don't know. It just it's cool scene. You know, it's yeah. actually kind of nice about it too. It shows that there's some vibrancy still in the, uh, in um in, in the small right. retail. Like as yeah. freaked out as they might all be about Amazon and yeah. and and big box. Yeah, obviously they're still coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It is. It is. Uh, it's it's really great. Like it, it's really amazing. And uh, to hear them talking about. Uh, you know, these little guys and, and how nimble they are about uh, trying to figure out delivery and, you know, how they get to, how they get to, um, you know, there, there's one guy there who was saying that anytime he's out of stock on some, uh, the minute he gets back in stock, he, he takes down all the names of the people who came in while he was out of stock. And then he hand delivers all the out of stock products, you know, Brilliant. you're just like, that really? is craziness, but that's right. brilliant, no, no, right? No like, no is going to do that. Yeah, no, no. I mean, no. they could, right? They yeah. could set it up where it would do that, but I mean, yeah. there's really no. But they won't. That's a nice personal touch, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's see, that, that's that, that's a that's a smart, you know, yeah. a game where we always talk about. If you want to, you know, connect with your consumer, that that is, that's that's, that's pretty it. clever. That's it. That's pretty yeah. clever. Yeah, I know. I know. Not just call them, but actually say, hey, you know, it's it's here. I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, that's so that's been the week. It's it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. And then uh, today, we work through the rest of your plan um, for your stuff. Uh, yeah, and they've, awesome. they've got some. They've got some really cool stuff. Uh, I, I'll I'll say that I had to gatekeep some of it, right? So so if you're um, for the listeners catching up. Uh, I have students, I teach um, social media marketing and search engine marketing, and they, uh, Kenny's graciously offered up uh, his coffee bar and his coffee brand for us to work on. Um, and so my students have kind of been hard at work um, building up some content pillars and some things we want to explore and test and, um, you know, kind of renovate and do some stuff with it, drive more traffic to Kenny's bar, coffee bar, and the coffee uh, brand itself. <laughs> Um, so we've got, uh, so I, I collected the last of their ideas today. So I gotta just, I'll put it together and I'll send it over to you, but, uh, so you can see it. Um, but, uh, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty excited to see what they've actually, uh, yeah. what they've come up with. I yeah. think it's going to be, um, I don't know. It's just, it's always cool when, when, if you can get some younger people kind of looking at it and farting around with it. Right. Yeah. 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 You know? They were making fun of me today. I was like, so, so one of the things that we want to do is we, we really want to test your correlation between your coffee and the coffee bar. And I said to them, you know, it'd be really neat if we just put up like a little IRC, not an RC, but one of those um, scan codes so that you can scan it with your phone. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so if your barista is making, you know, um, a certain coffee, they can scan it and then and then go to Amazon and buy it. And um, it made all these millennials look at me funny, right? Like, <laughs> why? What's what was the issue of that? Well, because they don't use them. Oh, okay. I, I think only old people use them, right? So, so I was like, I mean, I, I, you, you and I probably wouldn't even use them that often, but at least I know what the hell they are. I know, I know, right? Like, and so I was like, and so you, I, I kind of. You know, I'm explaining the idea. I'm I'm kind of excited. I think this is a cool thing. And they're all kind of like, and I was like, what are you what are you all whispering? And they're like, sorry, sir, I don't think anybody uses those, right? Like, does anybody use them? And everyone's like, nah, not really. I'll just search it. You know, like, I'll take a picture and then I'll search it. I'm like, oh God. I just, Why would you okay, but that that's that's old school. That is why don't they use technology that they, they could just know. bounce to it right away I, or just I don't go know. to it? Like, I, is I, that I the whole point? So I think for iPhone users, iPhone users have to load an extra app in order to be able to do it. You got to get a QR code reader. Right. But Androids don't though. Androids, we, we just like, you just wave your phone over it and, and Androids go and pick it up right away. Um, so that was something I didn't know. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I mean, I knew we had to get an app. I didn't know you guys yeah. didn't need an app. Yeah. We definitely need an app. Yeah. we don't I mean, which is not a big deal, but it's an extra app that really, yeah. and, you know, there's already a phone loaded. Yeah, we, got it. we well, all got phone loads of apps that we don't need. Well, and and the students were saying that was like, well, if I got to do that, I'm I'm just gonna, you know, if I got to do that, I'll I'll just like I got to load the app. I might as well just go to Amazon and look for the product, right? Um, okay, so then ideally, then what's what's if it's not that, how how do you make it easy to get them to go to whether it's like and we've talked about this before, whether it's to, to Amazon or to to London? Yeah, like yeah. If you want an online yeah, place yeah. like in my city, you, yeah, London yeah. drugs would be. Yeah, preferred. But how do you, how do you do how do you do that? Yeah, no, there's but a bunch of ways. So there's there's a bunch of ways to do that. I mean, one is um, being able to they'll do, use. Yeah, yeah. But some of it, I mean, there's kind of like there's a million ways to do this. So we we have a whole bunch of geotag options that we want to try with you. Right. Um, so if you live in the Vancouver area, if your subscribers live in that area, being able to drive them to a London Drugs or to Amazon. Uh, no, no, sorry. If they live in the Vancouver area, we drive them to the bar. Um, and then if they live outside the Vancouver area, you drive them to Amazon using using geotags. Um, mm-hmm. So there's a bunch of stuff that we can do there um, that'll kind of split off your your um, your consumers so we can drive them to the right place. Uh, and then there's there's kind of there's a whole bunch of stuff I got for you, like like a whole. That'd be cool. That 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 you know. that'd be interesting to see, right? It'd be nice to see a. To, to see a spike in retail, obviously, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. These these guys have some right. Like, or and again, it doesn't have to be a store location, even if it is on the online location. So the, you know, even if you're within the city, you may not always be close to to a um, to a London, but you're definitely close to your laptop or phone. Yep. Right. Yeah. 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 So whether you go to the London Drugs at that point, or if you go to Amazon, it doesn't really matter where you go. Yeah. I mean, ideally, shop local, but you know, um, hmm. There's also, there's a video, I'm not, I'm trying not to give it all away, but there, yeah, there's don't, a, don't tell me all of it. Cause I, <laughs> way, I want some excitement cause I'm getting hyperactive anyway when I see what the hell they've done. There's, there's a video series they, they want to be able to do cause millennials are all about like the pour over, the perfect pour over, you know, all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah so, whatever. so there's, there's a, a series of videos that we want to be able to do too, that tie that to the heritage. Because one thing that we noticed right away is that your bar has some pretty serious heritage to it right like it's got kind of that 30 years of history behind you yeah so wanna, totally yeah so we want to be Plus able to tell history. some of that yeah so we want to be able to tell some of that right and tie it to you know to the bar and then to the coffee and you know like all that kind of stuff so there's there's some really neat well you got the bia um, that tw- uh, retweeted uh, yeah. your, your tweet i mean you know commercial yeah. drives excited about yeah. having people come to commercial drive yeah you know and it end of the day like if the kids do people down there i mean it's not going to hurt other yeah. merchants on the drive i mean yeah. ideally i don't want to be pushing people my competitors nope but my competitors are probably being in it you know like it's nobody's going to lose on stuff like this yeah 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 and it no, might no, even no, motivate yeah. the bia to say okay listen how do we you know you know these kids have got a project going how's the bar doing if it's yeah. doing well can they help us out yeah 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 you know, yeah. and now you drive into a street. Like, how do you get yeah. more people to come down to oh the to the actual drive? Oh my gosh! Well, no, but but in specific That's with cool, you man. guys, is being able to tie the heritage to like almost um, prop it side by side with the brand. Um, but it shouldn't be that way, Phil. The whole purpose yeah. of the whole, the the brand was. When the guys started the brand years ago, yeah, that's what they wanted to do. 
they wanted it to be about what they remembered when they were traveling abroad, et yeah. cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what they wanted to do with the bar when they got the bar idea in their head was to was to try to do the European thing. It doesn't work here because in Europe, like we talked about, is you have your coffee and bugger off. There's no seats. You don't waste my uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to have. A, I don't want people sitting down all day doing nothing. So you want them to get yeah. the hell out. Yeah. We we have so it's a little different. For that too. We have Perfect. some plans for that too. It's it's uh, anyway, very cool, man. Lots and lots of things. Very uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So pretty excited. I, I, I just got to clean it up. It's almost like me keeping up with them now, right? Because it is like all these things, you know, I'm like, whoa, slow down, right? Like, well, you know, I mean, how many times did they get a real life, um, yeah, uh, you know, a real life entity yeah. to sort of play? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, uh, it's, it's super fun. Right? Uh, so, project, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a real life. Yeah. Well, and, you know, and the way I've said it to them is look, it's real life. We own the results. You own the success, right? If you bomb at it, Kenny's going to yell at me, right? He's not going to yell at all 18 of you. He's going to yell at me. So I own the mistake. If it's successful, we all own it. And then you put it on your resume, right? That you've done this thing. 100%. You know I mean? like, so, 100%. And so they're all like, oh, this is so amazing, right? So Exactly. I mean, you, know, you want to do something. You yeah. want to be able to go into something. This is what I worked on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not a bullshit. You know, here's a case study yeah. we did on, you yeah. know, why Some Starbucks is successful. Yeah, Who yeah. cares? Yeah. 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 Right. Do it in a, do it in an actual, yeah. An actual spot with actual people, you know, that's actually running. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty stoked on this, man. This should just yeah. be, this should be kind of cool. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. So I'll get it together and then, and then we'll go through it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. cool. Yeah. So that's what's going on with me. I, I got all this, uh, I got all this stuff going on. Um, trying to figure out what else there is uh i've got this i've got this new zealand pet brand and i uh i had i had this funny it's not funny actually i had a really weird aha moment on the way home um you know, when, on, the drive. Uh, on the drive home i mean you know like it's seven hours from from yeah, Toronto, from Toronto uh-huh. so it's a lot of aha moments and and i realized that I, I like, I called her, I FaceTimed her from the car, right? Um, not, not the actual FaceTime, but just the, the exactly. audio calling. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I said to her, I think I fucked up our costing. And she's like, what are you talking about? Right? Like, <laughs> where are you calling from? And I just, it's just cause you know, you have that moment and then I, <coughs> I, I, you know, it's the seven hour drive, right? So I'm thinking about this thing going, I don't think I worked out her freight properly. Do you know, like, cause she's got to ship this stuff. Ship, from I mean, that's a problem. Man. You know, I she's got a container from no. New Zealand or, or an LCL from, uh, yeah, New like, and it'd be cheap. Right. It's not cheap you from know, China right now. Never mind. Yeah. So, so I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't think I did that right. Right. Like, I, I'm pretty sure she goes, I'm pretty sure LTL would be fine. I'm like, I'm pretty sure LTL isn't going to be fine. You know, like, <laughs> have you shared the deck? And she goes, I'm shared it with anyone. Like, all right. You know, the, I mean, the good thing is, She's in New Zealand. She wants to come to the U.S., right? But we kind of had this back and forth because she said, like, don't you just do a straight translation of my retails? And I go, no, I don't think so because you're in New Zealand, right? Like New Zealand to to the U.S., you give, I think you have free license to do whatever the hell you want with the retails, right? Like there is no moment where a retailer in Australia is going to go, what the hell? You know, like. (laughs) Buddy, I can make an argument for doing completely something different from Vancouver to Toronto. Yeah. Right. So, what the hell's the difference? so I said to her, I think we need to, yeah. Anyway. So, so long story short is I came home, I was dead tired, but I still fired up the computer to see like, <laughs> so what'd you do? um, no, I did, I did account for freight, but I think I was too conservative. Um, so what'd you, how much would you, would you allocate? So I allocated, I actually worked out what, what an LTL would be for her. Do you know what I mean? So it wound yeah. up like, I actually calculated a flat fee per shipment. Um, figured out pallet. what her, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. By pallet, so what'd right? What did you figure a pallet's going to come from Australia? Is wasn't your worth? Uh, it was going to be, I think it was something like 500 bucks a pallet. US. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should be fine with that. I, I would guess be, right? that it's probably like 350 US from okay. China. Okay. So I would think that probably. Okay. So maybe I'm okay. I think you're okay. I mean, I, yeah. I, a small can from Asia now is probably... 1700 to 2000 okay uh, us dollars right and okay. that's that's 10 pallets okay. more or less right 
Okay. So I would think doubling and a bit because you're in New Zealand. I think you should be okay. And if you're not, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a thousand. No, I don't think so either. You know, so so if you missed 600, 650. But while I'm at it, I might, I might screw around with her retails now. Oh, I would. I'm just, I would. What's 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 (laughs) if someone really wanted to order it, then they can order from New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Cover so how does that work out? Yeah, yeah. No, well, no. Seriously, but, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, then yeah. what, how does it, it's not the same. Yeah. It's going to cost you a fortune. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I no, no, I am. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm going to, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I'm going to retest all my stuff to make sure I've, I've made enough room for a distributor or broker, you know, like all that kind the of stuff. The usual stuff. The usual, the usual stuff. I think, I, I think your freight's okay. I think okay. it is. I, mean, I, I don't know either. Okay. I'm assuming it's more expensive to ship from New Zealand than it is from, from Shenzhen, right? Or yeah, uh, probably definitely. similar to Europe. I mean, I would just, I mean, you could probably yeah. even find it. I, I think I did. I think I did. I just, I had that, you know, literally, I think it's, it's like usually, usually shipping is like a minor entry, right? Because you're, when you're in North America, it costs something. We complain about it, but it's not that big of a deal. Do you know what I mean? And so yeah, I think I looked. What's it cost me to get a pallet to Ontario? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Three hundred to four hundred bucks? Uh, no, less than that. Can be depends on the weight. Uh, it's not cheap right now. It costs it, it probably costs you one hundred fifty bucks to get one to Alberta. Yeah, you're right from here. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because remember, all, a lot of it depends on what's going back and forth. Yeah. If yeah, they're yeah. backhauling or 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 yeah. uh, you know deadheading or whatever. I mean, there's there's. Yeah. You know, it it it, it can't change the game. I, I think I said, I think you should be fine. Yeah, because shipping is a big deal. I mean, there's a, shipping is a is a is a pretty substantial cost a lot yeah. of times. Well, and especially because nobody goes back and forth from New Zealand. Nobody. Well, that's just it, right? <laughs> like well, that's what makes it how many? I mean, how right? many, like, you know. Well, and if you think about it, if they're going back and forth, where they're going, they're probably going back and forth to Australia. Yeah. Right, or they're yeah. probably a, a thing. So your product may have to go to Australia yeah. then maybe up toward China and then yeah. maybe across. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what, what, what we import in the States or Canada from New Zealand. Sorry, New Zealand people. It's not that we don't care about you. I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't think at this risk of sounding very ignorant, I think Kiwis and that's about well, it. That's what I was going to say too, but I didn't want to yeah. say that. just if that was <laughs> So I let you go with that one. All right, all right, all right. Because that's the only thing I could think of, right? <laughs> now we look like complete morons, but anyway, uh, every week we've story, lost the New Zealanders. <laughs> or is it okay? So we've lost all our New Zealand listeners. That's great. Good job, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we killed yeah. that one. Well, you know, in a couple of episodes, we sounded like complete a-holes. So we lost all the minorities. All the <laughs> we've lost most of the women, most of the minorities. Anybody from island uh, countries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, Good man. Pretty soon, you know, it'll be just me and you talking. Yeah, I, I... <laughs> honestly, unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh man, what about what about you? What's going on? Nothing. I'm just trying to organize my world right now. It's yeah. been, uh, you know, the last couple months. I like I said, I've gotten so many, so many things thrown at me. I've got to mm. start taking shit off my plate. Yeah. And I think the last couple, three, four weeks, actually, probably the last eight to twelve weeks. It's um, some of the things I'm doing, I, I have to get off my plate. So today I decided, I woke up, I thought, that's it. I'm not doing key accounts anymore. I'm dropping all, all my accounts, giving it back to the principals. Okay. It doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're calling on you know, two, grocer, two independent grocers in town and the drugstore, it's just it's prep work, right? It's, it's the prep just, work. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's ready no, but it's 10 to 15 hours a month for yeah. sure. Yeah. And then it's all the bullshit in between and it's yeah. stuff. I don't like it. I never wanted yeah. to do this. Yeah. That wasn't the point of, of, yeah. of, of, of going on my own. Wasn't yeah. to go back and, and, and I didn't want to sell. Yeah. I, I'm not a rep. I'm not, I'm not good at it. I don't like it. I don't yeah. like the detail. Yeah. I like the strategy. I like the analytics. I like all the cool shit. Yeah. On the other side. And lately, you know, honestly, I've gotten so many little companies that want to, that want to sit and chat. Nice. Right. Nice. And, and it's always the same thing that we, you and I always talk about. Yeah. I'll keep saying it because they little guys really need to get it. Yeah. Costing, yeah. pricing, how do you go to market? Yeah. Is it bricks and mortar? Is it online? Is it both? Whatever. But that takes a lot of time, but I actually enjoy that. 
Yeah. I really have little enjoyment yeah. um, for the selling aspect. Um, I, I don't like it. I, I, I just don't like it. So I finally thought, you know what, piss on it. I, I got to, I'm shutting it down. Nice. It's just getting me anxiety. I, I just don't have time and I don't, and I don't yeah. want to do a piss poor job for yeah. um, the retailer nor the, um, nor the vendor. So yeah. I just screw it. That's it. Yeah. So that's actually nice. kind of a nice load off. Is that, you know, nice. I can focus on, on what I like to do. Yeah. It helps you breathe a little bit easier too. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Or if not, it'll just make, it'll, I'll just load up. Yeah. Um, extra things. But again, it's at least where I want them to be. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's sort of the yeah. key. So it's kind of the thing we always talk about, even as, you know, as, as when you're doing shit like this or as an entrepreneur is that you, you perpetually need to look and analyze. And sometimes you got to make decisions that, that'll cost you some money, but you got to do what you want to like to do. Like that's yeah. what the whole point is, right? That's why we did this now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just to do that is to have some fun with us. Not, yeah. Not be thinking, oh shit, I hate doing this. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's the, that's really, I mean, that's the biggest part of all this, right? Is like, if, if you could, you almost, you almost need to keep doing that. I, I was asking uh, one of my firesides uh, this week, that was my thing. Um, you know, I was telling them about the podcast and how we talk about this with entrepreneurs all the time. So I said to them, you know, here's how you figure out what you're worth, right? Like, here's how you know when to do it and when not to do it. Right. Like, right. And this is the same conversation, which is like, if you could hire people to do everything you do, what's the one thing that you can't hire anybody to do that's your thing? Do you know? Exactly. Like, and, and this and stuff is it, replaceable you know? by other people yeah. within any of the organizations I do. And again, yeah. that they're better at it than I'm ever going to be. Yeah. And they like to, like this started bothering me probably just before Europe. And in Europe, because you know, you're getting emails back and thinking, I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> Because yeah. it's not that I, can, I I don't care. It's not that I can I can fix per se. But yeah, when you yeah. have your 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 accounts phoning and saying, "Hey, listen, we need to um, oh, okay. uh, we need to figure out the pricing of this and the retail and the costing. How do we yeah. do it?" I, yeah. I'm and I'm on holidays. I'm loving my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. hey, where's my order? Yeah, something was short. Are you thinking? The like, do you really you think I give a shit? You know, can you amend box number thirty-one and send it back? Right, like. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, not not interested, not interested. Man, man. All right, that's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us, and uh, we hope to see you next time with uh, with more Commerce news.